Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. It's now been a few years since I passed the ISSA certified personal trainer exam. There have been significant changes since that time. So I wanted to update you on what you can expect from ISSA's certified personal trainer course. Now, many of you ask me questions in the comment sections of my older videos, and I wanna be able to answer your questions accurately. I reached out to ISSA to find out what had changed. ISSA provided me with access to view the course in its current state so that I can tell you absolutely everything that has changed. There are some major changes that you need to know about. Before I get into all the changes, I have links in the description down below to the latest deals and discounts if you haven't yet purchased your ISSA course. This is not sponsored by ISSA, but be sure you use those links to purchase your course or a package. You can save some serious cash. The current version of the course uses the textbook Fitness, The Complete Guide, 10th edition. This is a different textbook from what I had when I passed the course in 2020. And it's different from my last update video in 2021. This is the book that I had. The new version is improved, updated with new exercise descriptions, chapter quizzes, and the latest information on nutrition, motivation, and behavior change, as well as exercise science. It has a totally different group of contributing authors and is very different from this textbook. I compared the 10th edition to this old 9th edition and there's a lot of changes to the content. The current text dives into the history and future of personal training, psychology and behavior change, and business and marketing. ISSA no longer provides physical fitness. This was a book, it was provided as a hard copy and then as a PDF. It's great for those with less business experience. Now, rather than being supplemental reading, business and marketing is actually included as part of the course in the 715 page book. This will help you start and grow a profitable training business. The textbook is included as a PDF. If you're like me and you prefer a hard copy, it's $40 additional plus shipping and handling. The workbook has been updated for the new textbook too. It's included as a printable as well as a fillable PDF. Unfortunately, you can't get a printed workbook. You'll have to print it out yourself. I highly recommend using the workbook. And as you can see, I used it quite a lot. The workbook walks you through the course chapter by chapter, providing you with the information that you need to pass the final exam. I prefer using the workbook over taking random notes because the workbook guides you to what's most important. It helps you to actually learn the material. This is what I did and it really helped me prepare because it's active learning. There are also some options for third-party study guides too. I suggest Trainer Academy. They offer an ISSA MVP package that includes the answer key to the study guide along with practice tests, flashcards, an audio study guide, a cheat sheet. It even comes with a complete exam pass guarantee. There's a link to it in the description down below. ISSATrainer.com has a blueprint for a guided study that is 10 weeks. What's different from the version of the course that I took in 2020 is that there's no final exam prep. And I'm gonna to get to why that is later on, so stay with me. There are quizzes for each chapter, 18 quizzes, much less than the previous version of the course that had 31 quizzes. Each quiz has an average of 10 questions. I did find something interesting about the quizzes too. That's another thing that I'm gonna to get to later, so stay with me. Some new additions to the last version of the course that I discussed in my previous video. They've stuck around with some changes. Let's talk about Fast Track first. ISSA created this program so that you can accelerate your studies. This is like your answer key to passing the exam. It helps you study fast, get certified, and start training clients. You'll get all the terminology, definitions, and concepts you're gonna need to pass your exam and be an effective personal trainer from day one. Fast Track is now divided into six sections instead of the previous four sections. You can approach each section at your own pace. Each section has reading material on one of the testing domains, which will help you prepare for your exam.
Make sure you know all the information in these sections to be as successful as possible on your exam and as a certified personal trainer. Use your book as your reference. If you find you're having difficulty understanding the information, you can also always reach out to ISSA, the education support team. If you have questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. But please keep in mind that I cannot help you one-on-one. -on -one, so please don't track me down and contact me personally. Some people have done this. It takes time away from my skaters and clients. The first domain is applied science. This is weighted as 25% of your final exam. Next is nutrition. This domain is 10% of your final exam. The third domain is client intake and ongoing evaluation, which is 15% of your final exam. Fourth is program design and implementation. This domain is weighted as 25% of your final exam. Next is exercise selection, technique, training instruction, which is 15% of your final exam. The sixth and final domain is professional practice and responsibility. This is weighted as 10% of your final exam. Fast Track is currently included with all ISSA CPT packages. This can always change, so be sure to use my links in the description down below to see what is included when you purchase your course. Another new addition is ISSA CPT Bootcamp. This provides you with an ultimate live guide to studying, understanding, and passing your course. Over five weeks, you'll receive direct access to ISSA's CPT experts, take part in live study tutorials that deep dive into specific concepts, and find out exactly what you need to know to pass your final exam. There are five webinars, and they look pretty amazing. I wish I had these when I took the course. If you cannot attend all of them, don't worry because ISSA uploads them a few days after the seminar. Here's the breakdown of the five weeks. Week one, CPT course 101 and understanding targeted anatomy. Week two, setting your study schedule, mastering energy systems. Week three, using fast track and program design principles. The boot camp also includes open office hours. These are five one hour open Q&A sessions where you have direct access to ISSA's fitness experts who will answer your questions and help you pass your exam faster. This is another thing that I wish I had when I took my course. I did come across some things that I had questions about. At that time, the only option for getting questions answered was the ISSA community. That still exists, by the way. So if you prefer to use message boards, you can still use them. Another recent addition is the new trainer guide. This is a PDF that you can download and print it if you like. It includes helpful information about determining your career goals and landing your first job. There's information for experienced personal trainers, small gyms versus large gyms, getting into private personal training, which is what I do, by the way, tips to get hired, gaining experience, getting your first clients, and fitness nutrition. There's also a complete exercise library and audio and video lecture options. Okay, so what about the final exam? This is the part I know you've been waiting for, the online exam. You do not have to complete it in one sitting. It can be stretched out over many logins and logouts. Offs. You can return to the exam as often as you need to, anytime, anywhere, on a PC or a Mac, as long as you're connected to the internet. You can change any answer at any time before you submit your exam. Remember what I said earlier about the quizzes? You don't have to take all the quizzes to unlock your final exam. This is a change from when I took my exam in 2020. Back then, I had to complete all the quizzes first before I could take the exam. ISSA made this change when they added the fast track. That said, I still highly recommend that you take all the quizzes to have an excellent working knowledge of all the material before you take the exam. There are 200 multiple choice questions that are broken up into six sections. There are no essays or short answer questions. This is great for those of you that don't like to write. 
I do feel that the essays and case studies were really valuable, and I'm disappointed that they no longer include them in the exam. There's also an option for the NCCPT CPT exam too. Many of you asked me about this in the comments from my first videos. The NCCA exam is entirely separate from the online multiple choice exam. And I highly recommend that you only submit a request to take your NCCA exam after you've completed the workbook, all the quizzes, and have passed the online CPT exam. All NCCA accredited certification exams must be taken at a testing facility or remotely with a proctor. To schedule a certification exam, you must have an account with ISSA. Make sure the date of birth, first and last name on your valid government issue ID matches exactly the date of birth and first and last name in your ISSA account. The testing center proctor will check this and not allow you to test if they are different. The ISSA must approve your testing request. Once your request is submitted, you will receive a notification from the ISSA with your eligibility ID. Follow all the instructions provided on how to choose a testing center. Then schedule and pay your fee. You will need your eligibility ID to schedule your exam. The fee to schedule your exam is currently $79. You may select a date and a time to take your exam. Make sure that you checked the correct exam time and time zone. A valid physical copy of your CPR card and a valid government issued photo ID is required to take the exam. The NCCPT certification exams are 140 multiple choice questions. 125 questions are scored and count as part of your score. 15 questions are pre-test items and do not count. You will not know which questions are pre-test items because they're all interspersed throughout the exam. Only candidates who achieve a passing score on their final exam will obtain the certification and must use the designation for the certification they passed. CPT is for Certified Personal Trainer. That is the designation that you will use if you pass your test. You will have two hours to complete the final exam. The exam is not open book or open notes. You have 12 months from the date of purchase to take your exam. If you do not take the exam within that 12 month period, an extension will need to be purchased. You also must be at least 18 years old or you must provide written permission from your legal guardian. For more information, go to the NCCPT Certification Candidate Handbook. The NCCPT recommends that you adequately prepare before attempting your exam. After you complete your exam, you'll be informed if you passed. A pass or fail result will be provided upon completion. So what is on the NCCPT exam? Here's your NCCP personal trainer exam outline. Number one, applied science, 25%. Nutrition, 10%. Intake and ongoing evaluation, 15%. Program design and implementation, 25%. Exercise selection, technique, and training instruction, 15%. Professional practice and responsibility, 10%. Did this video help you out? If so, please give it a like and share it with somebody else you think it could help and just post it to your social media too. Remember, I review all the courses that I take and provide you with updates on them when I can. I have videos coming up for other courses soon too. So remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. This is Amy. Happy studying. I will see you real soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. When I pass the course, oh, backwards, oh my goodness. Direct access to us.